Hi, I'm Claire. Hi, Claire. For those of you who don't know, Anita Sarkeesian is a sleazy con artist who has no idea what she's talking about. Is a woman who runs a web series called Feminist Frequency. And I'll basically sum up all of Anita Sarkeesian's video in less than five seconds. Everything is sexist and I don't like it. That's basically it. Which can be viewed both on YouTube and her own website. Links are in the description below. Okay, so Anita has recently gotten a lot of flack. What are you saying? She's always received flack. It's just now that it's reached such epidemic levels that it's actually so incredibly funny that even I admit that it's cool. Ever since she started a Kickstarter project called Tropes vs Women in Video Games, her Wikipedia page was vandalised. It's not her Wikipedia profile, it's every person's Wikipedia profile. Saying it belongs to her is like saying a library belongs to her. And she was threatened with death and rape. Allegedly, I have not seen, seen any physical evidence. And the only evidence is it's quoting Anita Sarkeesian who has everything to gain from playing the victim card, so I don't trust Anita Sarkeesian anyway. There are several reasons for this. First of all, some people believe that she was ripping people off. Which she is. She is completely ripping people off. She is using a noble cause to gain funds that she could easily get through alternate means. Because let me think, she's a YouTube partner, that means she makes an insanely large amount of money just from ad revenue. Not to mention the fact that she still has a donate on a big website and on a account still. To create a well-made and well-researched series of videos. Bullshit. bullshit. And there are two reasons why that statement is bullshit. One, why does she might need money for research? You know, you have Wikipedia, you can look up entire LPs or playthroughs of certain video games and full reviews. And second of all, I bet you, even if she had a million pounds, she's still going to make errors and do poor research. In fact, I recall um, sending out a tweet asking for feedback and research for her subscribers to do research. She needed a lot of money. She doesn't need the money, she wants the money. Needing would imply a certain level of urgency. And honestly, why does she need the money? Justify it to me. She would have had to buy a lot of video games. She already owns a lot of video games. In fact, we already see she owns the game consoles, and we actually even see it in a movie studio. So furthermore, why does she need the money? Justify it to me. Will please somebody just justify why she needs over a hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars Which is enough money to buy a house And she also wanted some better equipment Like what a helicopter? We already see it in the studio at one point in the video So she doesn't need any more equipment And for those who believe that she was a greedy scammer which she is a greedy scammer, because I don't see why she needs £158,000 or dollars. You didn't have to pay her. Why did you make such a big deal out of it? She, because she's an idiot, that's why. And I think she deserves all the ridicule and hatred she gets. Why didn't you concentrate on stopping real scammers? I am concentrating on a scammer. Secondly, there are plenty of people who have disagreed with her in the past. And your point being, people will always disagree with anything that I say. You don't hear me making a big deal out of it. Including people accusing me of being sexist, brainwashed, and being a sexist pig. You don't have to agree with her, but don't you think it's a bit much that a flash game called Beat Up Anita Sarkeesian was created in response to her wanting to start a project? Yeah, she's the one running around accusing the video games of not producing video game characters that she doesn't like. She got exactly what she wanted. She got a strong female character in a video game. 
I usually got punched in the face, but usually most video games have people getting punched in the face, like Streets of Rage, Golden Axe, and most other video games that I can't think of right now. Even though I don't agree with everything she says, but please at least give her the right to say it. No one should feel threatened or be silenced. You got that? Nobody's allowed to silence me in that case, so I'm allowed to say that Anita Sarkeesian is an idiot and she's calling people up huge sums of money. She's just a woman on YouTube. She may make a difference, but one voice is hard to reach out to an entire industry. She's not likely to make everything you disagree with happen. One of the most infuriating reasons for hitting Anita Sarkeesian is that she is a Apparently, infringing on men's last place that hasn't been taken over by the horror that is feminism. Only retards use air quotations when they talk. And two, why am I constantly being told that feminism is such a pure and noble thing? Because there's absolutely no misogyny in movies, television shows, comic books, anime or literature. First of all, she's using the word misogyny in an incorrect context. What she's probably complaining about is objectification. Objectification in and of itself is not a bad thing, nor is it a truly good thing. It's personally down to the individual if him or her finds the objectification inherently bad or inherently good. And a second thing is that some people like to be inherently objectified. My name is Renee Cruz and I love to fuck on film. Oh yeah, the motherfucking pursuit of motherfucking happiness! They say I'm good at a lot of things, but I really like sucking dick. I really love threesomes. And second of all, you complain about movies, books, comic books, and video games. Guess what? Movies objectify men. Look at the Twilight series or Brad Pitt. Those got pretty famous on the objectification of their male characters. But I'm fairly certain there is something out there that tickles the female audience. You are, you mentioned anime. I could mention two that objectify men. Death Note has that really gay moment in it. And Oran High School Host Club. And plus you have that whole subgenre of yaoi comics and mangas out there. Anyway, you, mentioned, you finally mentioned books. There are plenty of books that objectify men for the pleasure of female audience. Look at the Harlequin Quest romance novels, Twilight, and Fifty Shades of Grey recently. So there are plenty of books out there that are made for a female demographic. And I'll leave you with this final note on objectification. Your parents at one point objectified each other, and I know that because you wouldn't be here if they didn't objectify each other. And trust me, when you hit puberty, you will probably at one point objectify another man or another man. Or who knows, maybe another woman if you turn out that way. And by the way, if you still have a problem with objectification of women, I have a video clip that I use just for people like you. A big wooden cross. So every time you feel unappreciated for all your sacrifices, you can climb on up and nail yourself to it. Games are not some magical haven where men have an excuse to act like jerks. No, I generally use the internet to, for a safe haven to act like a jerk. There is a growing demographic of female gamers. So what, there's a growing demographic of women who indulge in hardcore pornography. What's your point? That I should alter my behaviour just in case if I try and upset and offend somebody. Fuck you if you think that way, and fuck you in the ass. So don't you think it's fair that they want to be represented as something more than eye candy or a damsel in distress? Trust me, there are plenty of games that portray women as being interesting. You've got the Resident Evil series, Final Fantasy, Metal Gear Solid, you have Jade from Beyond Good and Evil. Just to mention a few, that's probably about, what, a hundred that I just mentioned there? And furthermore, nobody's putting a gun against your head and forcing you to play these games. And how do you think it's feel when all men are being portrayed as either being expendable at cannon fodder or beefcakes? 
You do know it does can work both ways, you know. But heck, I think it's only sexist when it happens to women, I guess, these days. Like I said, she's just one woman on YouTube. A very loud mouthed, stupid, idiotic woman who's willing to portray women as nothing more than victims for her own self gain, but just a woman nonetheless. She isn't trying to destroy video games as we know it. Nah, she just wants to make a shit ton of money. Man, who would have ever thought that being a woman would be so profitable? She's trying to help the industry grow. Bullshit. Okay, if she wanted to help the industry grow, why doesn't she lead by example? Go and create her own video games, and show how the video game should industry should do, rather than sitting at home complaining like some little girl who's upset about her dad because she didn't buy her a pony when she was little. The video game industry and its fandom are still very young. The video game industry is about 34 years old. Most people who play video games are in their 20s and 30s. I think they stopped being young a long time ago. It hasn't had as much time to mature as movies or television. And come on, if we want, if video game fans want their games to be respected as pieces of art. In art, everything has to be touchable, everything has to be discussed, or else we go backwards, we go down. In other words, I can play lollipop chainsaw until I eventually go blind and Nina Sarkis and can go fuck herself if she has a major problem with that. We should not act like misogynistic brats who can't take a tiny little bit of criticism. No, they can take criticism. The only problem is that they can't take criticism from a Nina Sarkis who seems to be majorly unbalanced and to the point where actually it's kind of easy to offend her. I doubt that any of the haters properly watched the video that she made advertising her project. I watched it many, many times before I did my commentary on it. Why? Because I wanted to fully understand it. And two, because it was, I almost thought it was unintentionally one of the most funniest videos I've ever seen. Well, she made it very clear that she loves video games. That's some bullshit. Yeah, she loves it so much she has yet to say one good thing about it and she needs money to buy as much video games as possible. If she loved the medium so much, why does she need the money? You know, she would already have the video games that she needed. Because heck, this would be like me saying I love anime so much, I want everybody to buy me box sets of Naruto Shippuden. Why wouldn't she want to feel represented if she likes it so much? Because she's a whiny, complacent idiot who thinks that putting her pain in the center of the universe makes her feel big and clever and important, which it doesn't. It makes her look rather sad and pathetic, like, like her Gale Dines. Some people are arguing that men in video games are also shoved into stereotypes and are sexualized. Which they are. Because trust me, I could immediately point out every single. Uh, you know, a person with an ab that you could grate cheese on like mine. Or every pretty boy that features in a Final Fantasy game. With ripped bodies, they'll make a real bodybuilder jealous. Well, guess what? They're not designed for women to lust over. Bullshit. Bullshit. They're designed to make men imagine that they're as big and strong as the characters. With my experience with the fangirl side of video game fandoms, I can tell you that a large portion of gamer girls prefer pretty boys. Ah, so you're admitting that you know people objectify men there, therefore you c you're not allowed to complain about me objectifying other women or I'll call you a hypocrite. Not men who look like cradles. <laughs> now. Some of you may be wondering if it isn't too late for me to be posting this video. Trust me, I'll be doing Anita Sarkeesian videos until the day I die, so no, it's never too late. After all, she's already exceeded her goal of $6,000. Man, who would have ever thought that being a woman would be so profitable? And has earned over $158,000, right? Well, 
I want to make sure that this doesn't happen again to anyone. Right, you're willing to extend the same courtesy to other men, or is it just women you want to protect? Because that's one huge double standard. No one should go through the harassment that she went through. A big wooden cross. So every time you feel unappreciated for all your sacrifices, you can climb on up and nail yourself to it. Hasn't anyone heard of Faye's speech? She was just expressing her own opinion. I'm expressing my opinion that Anita Sarkeesian is a money-grubbing idiot who likes to put her pain in the center of the universe. Anyway, thanks for watching, and you can comment, like, or dislike if you want to. I'm going to be creating a series of videos with a wide range of topics, so if you want to subscribe, go ahead. Now I'm not going to bother subscribing because you're very boring, and also you sound like you have very little experience in life. And please be as civil as you can in the comments. I want to generate discussion, not hate. Now Claire, this is between you, me, and probably every other female watching this video. Now excluding my personal opinions on Anita Sarkeesian, do you want to be successful at life because you're a woman, or despite it? That's a big question you should be asking yourself, especially whenever you, you listen to Anita Sarkeesian who seems to want to pin every woman as victims and every man as a victor, victor. So anyway, that's me done for this video. I'll see you all on my next video, whenever that's going to be posted.